according to a new survey. In fact, most people saying China will soon overtake the United States as the world's leading superpower. Someone says it's already has. Didi Banky, she's not surprised. She's back along with Rick Unger and Carlos Cabello. Didi. <laughs> Rick is so mad about me being mentioned you keep first. Getting Come on. Billing. Carlos well, and I are just tagging along. Because I do you, look man. good. You know, when you say we don't look good, you true, know you I do. You do look so good. Hey. That's true. <laughs> well, but America it, doesn't look so good. Yeah, and, it, and it's sad because, you know, we are the superpower. We need to maintain that. So we have to let stop letting China mess with us. I mean, they, you know, they're messing with uh, the uh, currency and they're getting away with uh, things that they shouldn't and whenever we have the trade you know they should have to pay about it they should be, have to pay but, the duty right but here's the problem Carlos as long as they're paying for our profligate spending they got 1.3 trillion dollars of our treasuries we can't tell them what to do that's right. I don't know about China passing us because they have a lot of problems of their own, but I know that we're doing everything we can for that to be the case. We have the highest or one of the highest corporate tax rates in the developed world. Rather than investing in transportation infrastructure, we invest in bankrupt pension programs. We keep borrowing more and more money. We're up to $17 trillion now. A lot of that money is coming from China. So will they pass us? I certainly hope not. But if we continue down this road, we're going to make it a lot easier for them to pass us. The good news is we can still change course, but time is running out. What do you think, Rick? Uh, actually, I'm going to join with Carlos a little bit so we wow. can gang up on Didi. I, I, I don't. I actually don't <laughs> think it's tough. a given. I don't think it's a given <laughs> that that they are going to pass us. Uh, but you know what? What if they did? I knew you were going to say this. Everybody, everybody, go, it's, it's okay. It's okay to be Avis. It's okay to be number two. It's okay to be number well, three. We're so wait, 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 wait. negative today. We're not going to let them pass us. When was the last time you were in London? About two years ago. How was it? It was okay. It was okay. It was okay. It's a pretty darn nice city, isn't it? It's but, also one of the financial centers of the world, if not the financial center of the world. And you know what? Once upon a time, the sun set on the British Empire. Propaganda and they began, for China. I they cannot began, believe you, I'm not about China. Oh, it's this about is horrible. Us. What about it American is, exceptionalism? Does that mean anything to you? Hold on one second. That's a great means, point. But it probably means something different to me than what it might mean to you. Because I don't. It I means judge, that we should continue being the greatest nation in the world. That's what it yes. means to yeah, me. Yeah, but, but no, but being the greatest nation in the world doesn't necessarily mean you're the biggest superpower. It's how well you do for your people. All your well, people. I can tell you this, Rick. So, with the, with so the policies, with the policies that your guy has in place, is. then we're going to get to exactly my where guy, you want to get. My guy. Because because <laughs> here's the thing: when you start talking about taking a country that's this great and punishing the people that make it great to squeeze that income inequality and crush it down, you're right. We're all going to live happily ever after like a no, Voltaire right. novel the, and we'll watch right. China take the, over the, the world. The answer is to make sure that everybody can work at Walmart and have to go oh, on food stamps and Medicaid. Don't that's bring up Walmart. Walmart. We're you know, failing that's our own people. That's the We're problem. failing our One own second, people. One second, Carlos. Let Didi jump in here for a second. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. We need to make it easier and better environment for American companies. I think we give us the advantage. We need to start doing that. We need to have more tariffs and make it more difficult for China. Well, guys, I'm sorry, I, but we're at that point, I don't know I about think. the tariff thing, Carlos, but I do think that China has no respect for us. And, no. you know, a couple of weeks ago, President Obama declared war again on the coal industry. But the in interesting thing is just a week earlier, China signed a 25-year year 250 billion dollar deal with Russia for oil. I mean, we're just moving in the wrong direction. It's going to cost us economically because being number one isn't just about uh, feeling good about yourself. There's a lot of perks that come with being the number one country with the number one currency in the world. Well, how can they respect us when they are financing? We've turned to them to fund our inefficient government, to fund these pension programs that we were discussing earlier that are bankrupting cities and states. So why would they respect us? We have to earn respect. We have to respect ourselves first. And under this administration, that's not happening. Right. Uh, I just, I'm just curious how much you guys respect China, you know. But, but it is always interesting. Everybody makes the argument about how, how China owns all of our debt. You know how little of our debt they hold. Who owns most of our debt in this country? We do. We, we do. Our children do. We and that's do. why we're failing our so people. So why are you worrying so much about China? Why don't you start worrying about us, about Americans, about your children? We, well, that's, we're but that's, you're, you're that's what the discussion is about. No, no, the, I Rick, am. This is what the discussion is all about. The idea is not that China is, is zooming past us. The idea is that we're drifting along to the point where it won't just be China. And, and, and this is what you have to understand. There are serious, about there are serious ramifications that come along. No, I'm worried about us becoming Iceland. Here, there are serious ramifications that come along with being number one. 
you know, the dollar is the world's re reserve currency. People buy our treasuries because they can trust us to have a great economy. When we start to lose those things, it unravels pretty quickly. But right? Charles, Charles, wrong, Charles you're wrong. a historian. Has there ever been a civilization that has stayed number one in the history of the world, ever? They have stayed number one longer than we've been number one, and that's the point. Didi. Well, look, look, better us than them. And here's another point. I don't want a totalitarian dictatorship being the superpower of the world. Come? That's oh, not the I world see. I want to live in. Because that's China, right? Yeah. By the yeah. way. I, I, I didn't know, I mean, I, you know start with, We started with Didi. We'll end with Didi. The floor is yours. I'm just saying, we are the superpower now. We're the greatest nation in the world. And we need to help ourselves. And we need to stop letting China screw us over. Bottom the bottom line, line guys, is we do. We have self-destructive policies. And I think, ultimately... They're going to come back to haunt us. And, I, you know, I'm not one of these people that dismisses China. I, I know what they're doing. I see what they're doing. And I think they're on a mission. And that mission is to But they're, but they're running into the same problems. Yeah, they're, they're that's called growing pains. Right. was right about that. You have to be more disciplined. He was right about that. Yeah, that's called growing pains. Have a better right? environment for American business. We're still growing, too. Uh, Go yeah, USA. In the wrong direction. Yeah, guys, you were fantastic, guys. We're going to leave it here. That's, that's Audience, ridiculous. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>